during session it was very exciting they sent us on our own they sent us to side events they sent us to private meetings with different delegations or organizations and it was really great to just get into the action and not just have the typical intern role we were actually representing the united states well i had been warned that um, the hrc session was going to be very busy a little hectic but it was actually really fun, really awesome. The interns got to go to side events and take notes, and you really get like a behind the scenes look at everything. The Human Rights Council delegation was uh, really fascinating. It's really amazing to kind of see all the work that goes into negotiations, but it also is a platform for NGOs and people that have experienced human rights abuses to tell their stories. It gives people and delegations a chance to speak up for the cruelties that are happening in their countries. Makes everything that we're talking about in this room um, more relatable and it makes you realize that it's stuff that's actually going on and happening out in the world. What really struck me is the personal accounts of the tragedies that have happened to them or that they've witnessed in their home country. And that's just something you really can't experience just reading in a book. It's different when it's coming from that person. One of the press conferences we worked on was with Ambassador Wood, who's the ambassador for the Conference on Disarmament. Um, and he gave a press conference uh, regarding the nuclear ban treaty and kind of the U.S. stance on it and why we oppose it. It's definitely diplomacy in action. This exhibit we sponsored uh, last week here at the Palais that looked at the experiences of different migrants and kind of how gender has shaped uh, their journeys uh, through migration. It was a really unique exhibition that showcased kind of the experiences that these migrants had leaving their homes, but it was really interactive, almost felt like you were being a part of their journey. Overall, Geneva is a beautiful city. I really love it here. Geneva is kind of like an international hub, especially for politics. The work done here is not bilateral, it's multilateral. So you're working with um, a variety of other countries. It's an international city, really. I think it was surprising being here, how they're just ambassadors kind of mixed in with the people. One thing that was pretty surprising is if our views don't align with another country, we are still, we could be friends with that diplomat. It's not personal at all. In class, I kind of learned like the theories behind everything, the basic information, and then here I actually got to be in the office, seeing all this stuff happen firsthand. So I think bringing that back to school and then eventually to my actual workplace is going to be really important. I hope to have a greater appreciation of kind of the work that's done, not only in the UN, but in all international organizations. It's been a really great experience. I've learned a lot, certainly, but it's also been very challenging, but rewarding to see that we're actually helping real people. If I had advice for someone who was thinking about doing the State Department internship, I would say don't be afraid to do your State Department internship abroad. Really been a great experience. I applied thinking that I had no chance whatsoever to get it, but here I am. Put yourself out there. If you have any interest in um, diplomacy or in the Foreign Service or uh, really serving your country, this is a great place to start. I can't imagine an experience more rewarding 